Hi, patrons, and hi, everybody else. This is my normal patron forecast for the weekend in terms of telling you what's going to happen uh, weather-wise. I My for, for patrons get a weekend forecast on Wednesday. Everybody else gets it on Friday. But this week, we're combining the two um, because I'm headed out for a uh, week of vacation. And so um, I'll be quiet. You won't be hearing from me for about a week. Um, I'll be back in town pretty soon. But um, for this uh, week coming up, uh, I did want to give you a forecast for this weekend. Um, it looks good for patrons. They will still get, I'll give you, I'll send you a text next or an email text next Wednesday with at least a few ideas about the for, about next weekend's forecast, but no video. Uh, where I am, there's very little service for where we're going to be for the next week. So there's really no way for me to get a video text out. So yeah, that's what's going on um, in terms of the process coming up this weekend. <laughs> Not much to talk about for this weekend's forecast, except that it's going to be exactly what you hope for for the summer weather. Um, currently, we do have some showers, some thunderstorms. We're close to a front boundary layer. We've kicked the humidity back up a little bit. It's not bad out there. Nothing like it was a couple of weeks ago. Um, things have gotten much better. Um, and uh, we do have a chance of some rain both today and tomorrow, um, often on showers. It's not going to be wall-to-wall -wall rain. There's going to be a decent amount of sun in between. But by Friday, we have cleared this out, and we are in for a big stretch of dry nice weather. Um, temperatures will be uh, on the lower side of average to start on Friday, but we'll be building, so we'll be getting warmer and a little bit more humid by Sunday, but not bad. Maybe by the beginning of next week, we start to get in some uh, warmer weather or some like warm to hot weather in, but nothing that looks too bad yet. And we're probably middle of next week. Once we get through the rain today and tomorrow, the off and on rain, we're not until early next week excuse me, middle of next week before we talk about any chance for precipitation again. So we've got a big stretch of nice weather. I can't even really find a cloud for you um, in terms of uh, what's going to happen on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. It's just going to be wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, Good, plenty warm to get out and go to the beach if you want to do that. Um, not too bad to go hiking if you want to do that. Um, mornings will be not uh, not chilly, but cool. Um, cool enough that uh, you can often just open the windows. No, no, shouldn't be a huge need for air conditioning, things like that. It's just really a great summer weekend in Vermont. So if this is the summer weekend you happen to be here, or if you live here, this is the kind of weekend you're we're all rooting for in terms of what summer weather across the Northeast and particularly across Vermont. Now, again, here's radar. We're not going to zoom in too much. There's a bunch of pop-up showers and storms. Eventually, tomorrow, this front will clear through. Tomorrow, there's a better chance of slightly organized stuff. Uh, rumbles of thunder are possible both of the next two afternoons. I wouldn't be too, too concerned. Nothing looks overly severe, but just stuff to keep an eye on. Definitely a chance for rain, particularly in the afternoons today and tomorrow uh, before we clear out on Friday. Here's that big high-pressure system that's going to be in control of the weather for most of the weekend. If we take a look... And what that looks like, here is your upper level pattern. Um, and this is exactly what we kind of really want to see uh, for this time of year. This is for Saturday, uh, or sorry, this is for Friday. And you can see basically relatively weak features here, relatively, you know, a little bit of a stronger uh, upper level or uh, short wave trough um, here across British Columbia. Um, but uh, then a weak ridge across the center part of the country. What you don't want to see this time of year, uh, no huge dips in the jet stream that can lead to long periods of unsettled weather and no big ridges, especially because when you get a big ridge, which would be kind of something that's like what's going on here across the Pacific, um, that's where you can really get some warm air to build if you get one of those to build across the eastern part of the United States. Now on Friday, we're actually in that northwesterly flow. That's amazing. Um, it's going to be, uh, the, we're going to dry out. It's going to feel uh, absolutely wonderful. Um, we start to build the ridge in over the weekend. This is not overly fast moving so it takes a lot of the weekend to kind of get through here as the ridge builds temperatures will build and humidity will build a little bit but again for late july not bad at all um temperatures we might be mid 80s on sunday so the afternoon will be warm and dew points will still be upper 50s to around 60 that's on the lower end of where you just barely start to feel the humidity not the mid 70s we were feeling a couple of weeks ago when it was just soupy and uh, terrible so um Basically, real good weather for the weekend. Um, let's take a look at what that looks like on the actual forecast. Notice, no clouds. Can't even really find any for you. And it does warm up. Like I said, 78 on Friday. That's probably after starting in the mid-50s on Friday morning. So uh, a nice day on Friday. If you want to hike or something, Friday's probably the best day to do that um, before the heat starts to build a little bit, but still plenty warm. If you, go, if you head out to go swimming in the afternoon, it's fine. Overnight, we cool back down to the upper 50s again kind of alleviating the need for much in the way of air conditioning, you know, just get out, open the windows and put the fan in maybe, and they really enjoy that. Uh, Saturday, a little bit warmer, 83, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine once again. Sunday, 85, now you're starting to feel it just a little bit, but again, really not bad um, for this time of year, especially since that humidity level will be relatively low. Uh, uh, the dry weather will continue Monday and Tuesday, maybe even into Wednesday. We do build a little bit more humidity. Um, 
Not sure exactly how warm the temperatures are going to get. We might push upper 80s by Monday, Tuesday. So getting a little warmer, but not terrible still. Um, after that next week, still looks like a pretty calm week next week in terms of weather. I'll have to see the second half of the week. It does look like at least a system kind of comes through with a front on Wednesday. So that would probably be the best chance for any organized showers, thunderstorms would be Wednesday next week. But again, we'll have to wait and see. We're a little too far out to tell too much about that. That's a week out here as we talk about it. Now, let's take a quick look at those highlights. There's not much. Great weather this weekend. No realistic chance of rain. Temperatures are warm, but not overly hot. The first part of next week looks good as well. Hey, enjoy the great weather. Have had, you know, it's always a mixed bag around here, but you get stretches like this during the summer. This is why people love Vermont in the summer. Um, uh, if you don't like those really warm times, this is when you get beautiful weather, but not overly hot. Get out there. Enjoy it and uh, try to enjoy the outdoors as we get that, that time of year. Because humidity and heat is still definitely a possibility, and, you know, we could get a, a rainy stretch as well. We haven't so far this summer, but it's definitely possible. All right. Uh, I do uh, want to thank you for supporting the channel, my patrons particularly, who this forecast is mostly for. But if you're, uh, um, if you're not a patron and you're seeing this forecast, this is what happens normally on Wednesday. And so as we head towards the time of year where I'm putting out more forecasts and things like that, the patrons do get a few benefits. I appreciate them. They help support the channel. They help make, uh, help just milk, help make the things happen. And uh, just kind of offset the cost for a lot of the things that I do in terms of uh, subscriptions and lighting, all that kind of stuff. So I really do appreciate them. I will be back. Like I said, uh, no forecast for the general public next week. So you're probably looking at the week after um, in terms of your weekend forecast as I will be out of town. Patrons will get a text forecast of next what next weekend looks like. That'll probably be on Wednesday afternoon sometime. All right. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like I said, I'll be basically away next week.